I got them. I smoked them. There is no way they're getting away with this. I caught these guys stealing my stuff. 30 grand worth of tools stolen by these little weasels. There's two neighbors that had cameras that I spotted from the street. I went to one, this very nice Asian lady. She was so cool, but it was a dead end. She had nothing. She showed me her phone. Another one I saw a post, a telephone post, and this lady had everything on footage. Unreal. She was like, I can share it with you, but you need to call the police. I said, absolutely, I'm calling them right now. So she gave me access to the footage and I was like, I was so happy. I was like, man, I finally got these guys. I got these guys. And she even said there's a license plate. I was so excited. I was like, we got them. We got them. We got them, baby. Let's go. We're going to be on our inspector gadget shit right now. As you see here at 3.34 a.m., this is when the hoodlums decided to come and take a gander at my stuff. So here they are driving up. Okay, they keep driving up all the way. They stop, slow down, and they just keep going up the hill. Okay, they go up the hill, up the hill, up the hill. Now watch what happens then. They don't know where they're going. This is this is very interesting because if they knew exactly where it was, if it was an inside job, they would have turned right away. They go up the hill all the way and then they turn around. We'll see them in a little bit. They're gonna whip a U-turn. Here they come, headlights coming down. And now they're gonna make a left. Okay, they made a left. Now, then they go into the street. Now check this out, this is very interesting. And here's another angle, here's another angle. They're driving up, they don't know where it is. They were, my, my suspicion is they were told where this is and they're gonna keep driving, driving, driving. This is when they're gonna make a U-turn. And here they come, those dirty, rotten son of dogs. Here they are. Here they are. Can we see a license plate? Nope. Okay, now this is the clip that you've been waiting for. There's the diesel truck. It's definitely a power stroke. It's definitely a 7.3 liter. You'd be like, T, how do you know that? Because I'm a hillbilly, okay? I grew up in Fox Lake, Illinois. I'm a hillbilly. I know exactly what a 6.0 6 sounds like. I know exactly what a 6.4 sounds like. I know what a Duramax sounds like. I know what a Cummins sounds like. And that, my friends, is Hillbilly T coming at you live. That is a 7.3 liter 2002 F-250 or 350. Doesn't really matter. Okay, now they keep going. And they're going to make a U-turn. They're going to make a little little U-turn action. They scoped it out. They saw it. Here they come. 3.40 in the morning, boys. Now they parked. You see this? They You can turn your lights off on a, on a power stroke before the vehicle is actually off. Okay, now watch the time jump. The time is going to jump now. Here they get out of the 4 o'clock now. They've been chilling for a couple minutes. They're going to get out of their vehicle. Okay, watch this. You see his little feet? See his little feet right there? Look at the reflective tape. You can see his little feet. It's one guy. Then he calls his boy. He said, yo, let's roll. Okay, now he pulls the truck up. Pulls the truck up. Truck pulls up. We're at 350 right now. Boom. The camera switches off to night mode or night vision mode. It's 4.03 right now. Be, keep paying attention to the time. The time is very important. Now, it's 4.04. .04. Boom. The lights turn off. Okay, they don't want to make too much of a ruckus. Now they're figuring out, how do I get this excavator arm away from the tra trailer? The camera turned on night mode. Now you see this little weasel right by my excavator? Now you see the camera, it's a motion camera, so it stops. We're at four minutes, four, we're at 4.17 a.m. And they've been tinkering with my trailer for 20 minutes. They're trying to 
They were, this is when they were trying to break in the ignition. They were, I mean, the morons. You know what I mean? Like, who does that? They went inside my Caterpillar. They tried to start it with a freaking screwdriver. They tried to break in my 550 that had a steering wheel lock on there. They have no keys. And uh, now they're like, dude, you know what? We got a plan. Bulletproof truck. You see right there? They got the strap. You can see the strap right there. They got the strap. They got the strap. And that's where the video ends. Magically, somehow magically, the camera cuts out and apparently they stopped doing motion or something because the homeowner said, this is all I got, homie. And I was pretty bummed. But I want you to take a look at this because this is very, very interesting. Now this is the camera going down the hill. Now check this out. We're gonna play now. Camera's going down the hill, so it's 4.25 a.m. So they spent an hour there. Now take a look at this. Look at his bed. Full of tools. Look at that, full of tools. We're at a different camera angle. This is going down the hill. Now look at this. We'll pause right when it gets good, right about there. Look at that. It's all my tools right there. I got saws, jackhammers, freaking that's my weed whacker hanging right at the back right of his <laughs> back right of his truck bed. <laughs> freaking weasel. And then they took a left. They're gonna keep going down, and that's it. That's where the camera footage ends. This camera is a super i don't know what it is but it, somehow it was very clear to get the license plate now watch this this is the truck going up see that look at that boom that's a perfect shot right there 7f50658 so when i found out this license plate i was jacked i was like bro i got him this is amazing i'm gonna get this guy we're gonna arrest him. He's gonna go to jail for 87 years for stealing my stuff. You don't steal my stuff. That's my stuff, right? And then we skip forward a little bit. Here he comes down the hill. Pause. There it is. This is a 2002 F350. Super Dewey. License plate 7F50658. Now I know what you're thinking. You got him, T. We got him, baby. Well, I was very excited. I said, dude, we got him. We got this dirty slime ball. I'm going to take him down. I'm calling the 5-0. So I call the cop. I wait for him. He comes in. I give him all the information. The cop is really cool. I give him the video footage. He takes it. And he's like, can you email it to me? I'm going to make a claim. Or he's going to make a case. I said, hey, Mr. Officer. Can you do me a favor? Can you run the plates in your system just to see where this vehicle is registered to? And then he got on his little radio. He's like, six nine or nine or nine or need a need a license number check. Six 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 nine or nine or nine or nine or. He read the number. Okay, the number of license plate. Obviously, we saw it. Seven F five zero six five eight. So with that being said, the the lady on the radio came back and she gave him the address. As as she's saying it, I'm on my on my phone in Google Maps. And I'm typing it up. And I was like, dude, I guys, I couldn't freaking believe where this guy lived. He lived four freaking minutes away from my house. Four minutes away from my house. I'm like, what's his name? And he had a he had a um, he was a Mexican last name. It was Vasquez or something, Velasquez. Robert Vasquez or something like that. And I'm like, this dirty slime ball. I can't believe it. He staked me out. He knows where I live. He lives four minutes away from me, this dirty little slime ball. And I was like, officer, can you go to his house and see if that truck is in his driveway? If the truck's in his driveway, can't you arrest him and be like, dude, give, give T his tools back, right? If the truck's in his driveway, can't you arrest him? And he looked at me and he said, well, that's not really how it works. He goes back on his radio and he says, hey, what is the, what is the license plate registered to? Exactly like I said, 2002, 350, maroon the plates match up to the truck and then he asked for more information and of course the truck was stolen on saturday 
On the 23rd of August, my trailer gets broken into and my, stool, my tools get stolen. On the 22nd of August, the truck is reported stolen. This whole time, I'm thinking, this guy's a dirt ball. He reported his own truck stolen and then he went and stole my shit. And now, somehow, magically, he's going to find his truck in a parking lot. And he's like, this stuff happens all the time. But I don't really deal with theft, so how am I supposed to know? You know what I mean? I don't, I don't, I'm not a thief. I told the officer, I'm like, all right, thank you very much. Have a good day. So I took matters in my own hands. I wanted to drive by his house because it was four minutes away from my house. I want to scope the place out. So what do I do? I drive home and then I take the next turn and I go to his house, right? And I'm just scoping. I'm not, I'm not doing anything stupid. I'm just trying to see. Dude, I go there and this house was a ranch. It was a corner. It was a beautiful yard, very well maintained. A uh, nice driveway, blue colored lights on his roof. It was like decorated. Nice tree. It was a nice part, nice area. And I drive by his house and I look in the window. And this, there's a guy sitting there with his wife, dog, family. They're all having dinner. And I'm thinking to myself on my tea. The whole, the whole vibe was off. I was like, this does not look like someone that would steal tools out of a trailer to risk his life to go to jail for some we use tools so i was like there's i do got 100 percent certainty i'm like this wasn't him so what do i do so i go up to his door i'm like hey are you robert vasquez and he's like yeah he's like how'd you know that did your truck get stolen and he's like yeah i reported it stolen on saturday those sons of bitches took my truck at 12 o'clock on a saturday noon in broad daylight and he's like i was in my house hanging out and all i heard was a ratchet like a impact all of a sudden he hears his truck start and he has an exhaust it's really loud and the truck just ripped he goes outside his house and the truck is gone then he gets on the phone reports the truck stolen now check this out this is the series of events now a lot of you were saying inside job inside job inside job inside job you're a hundred percent wrong my employees don't have the balls to do something like this. They don't. They're freaking pussies. My guys are hardworking, honest, and if I ever had a thief like this that's capable of doing this type of maneuver, not only stealing my tools, but going at 12 o'clock on a Saturday when everybody's freaking home, stealing a truck, taking it somewhere, the next day going to break in my tools. My employees don't have the cojones for this. Every single person that said inside job, not only are you wrong, but you're also a moron because you always want to blame your employees for everything. Dude, it's it's not my employees. There's no chance. Zero. I don't get that vibe from any of my guys. My guys are my guys are freaking great. They're honest guys, okay? So it's not an inside job. Now, you'd be like T-Money, T-Bone. Who do you think it was? Now here, I have another theory. And this theory, I think is 99% correct. Theory one, it could be one of you. It could be one of you. Maybe you saw a place that looked very familiar. Maybe you saw a road sign, an address, and you're like, I know where he is. And you and your friends really don't like me. You hate me. And you're honestly a scumbag. And you want to see somebody suffer by losing their equipment, losing their tools, blah, blah, blah. So you decide to hit me up. You and your boy... You're like, yo, we're going to go out. We're going to hit Tigran up. Tigran's a douchebag. We don't like him anyway. He's a moron. He always posts videos and shows off about, oh, look at this equipment. Look at this equipment. Oh, look at this job. Look at this job. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, Jose. Oh, this guy. Oh, Grant. Oh, blah, blah. Right? You're like, oh, T's a douchebag. We're going to get him good. You plan an operation Sunday, 3.30 in the morning. Nobody's out on Sunday. That's when you pop me. Okay? You got me. Also very unlikely. Also takes a lot of balls. I know there's a lot of you that hate on me, but you do not have the balls to do this because you're also a pussy. Just like me. I would never do this. I'm a pussy. I would never do this. This is beyond ridiculous. <laughs> you know what I mean? Insane. Who the heck? I would never steal somebody's truck broad daylight. Okay? Not only stealing a truck, all right? Stealing a truck is one thing. Broad daylight, 12 o'clock. <laughs> and then you commit a crime with the vehicle that you committed a crime with the night before. That's a little crazy. None of you have the balls to do that. If you don't see my last video, there was a road crew paving the roads and they put no parking signs, tow-away zone signs, like this picture right here, 
all over the neighborhood. So usually cars park down here, but because they were doing road work, they were not able to. Now, I'm just putting two and two together. Now hear me out, boys. What is the scummiest job on the planet? Well, okay, let me tell you that. What is one of the scummiest jobs on the planet? Paving. Who are some of the biggest lowlifes on the planet when it comes to human beings? Paving. Paving. Big commercial city paving. Okay? Very sketchy people. You can ask anybody. I have had many people tell me there are engineers that I know that work for the city and the engineers have to go out and communicate with the road workers. I mean, the foreman and the freaking guys making $150,000, $200,000 a year, those, those aren't the guys. I'm talking about the guys making 15 bucks an hour, 20 bucks an hour, okay, those guys. My theory is they, they were going by, putting out these little signs, or driving by the job site, and they saw all my shit, and they called their boys, and they said, hey, Sunday, hit this fool up. This fool's got nice stuff. They told them the location. But these guys, I don't think it was the actual people that, they might have been actually, it might have been the guys that actually, the, ah, but if it, was the, if it was the road crew, they would have known exactly where it was. I think it was one of their boys. They said, hey, do this, give me a cut of whatever you sell. So the guy probably made a thousand bucks and the other guys probably made $4,000 off my, all my tools. And they just told them where it was. The guys came up. They went up the road, they didn't know where it was, they saw the trailer, they turned around, came back, spent an hour, cleaned me out, took all my shit, broke my excavator, broke my uh, door lock on my Ford 550, and uh, and then they dipped out. Sold my, tr sold my tools for one-fifth of the cost that I purchased for. That's my theory. Now, post in comments what you think about my theory, but... I think mine is very, very probable. People are very, like, let me be honest with you. These types of people, like, you don't want any any beef with. Like, if someone is that crazy to go and steal a truck middle of daylight and then the next day commit another crime, stealing tools out of a company's trailer, bro, go ahead, dog, steal my shit. I don't want no beef with you because you have, not only do you have a couple of screws loose, but you have bolts missing. Drop in comments. Let me know what you think of my theory. Am I whack? Am I capping? Am I going? Am I stretching too hard? Do you think I'm on my inspector gadget shit? This took a lot of research. This took a lot of snooping around, a lot of sneaking around. And I got everything. Cop probably wasn't supposed to give me the address of the vehicle. Cop probably wasn't supposed to even tell me who the guy's name was. But he didn't really tell me. I kind of found out. I was like looking at his computer, or overheard stuff, and uh, I was I was Inspector Gadget, dude. Like this, this is my belongings. So, I will also post a video on what I'm doing as a deterrent. Okay, I got a motion sensor, I got cameras, I got trackers, I got all that stuff. So I will post a review in about a month on all this stuff after I get acquainted with it and. Make sure that it really works well, and I'll drop all the links to it. You guys can hook up on it. But if I had all that stuff, if I had the cameras, the motion sensors, these guys spent an hour getting my stuff. I could have literally left my house and went over there with the cops and got them. So, you know, it is what it is. It sucks, but it happens. To the guys that stole my stuff, congratulations. You got away with it. You got me, bro. You got away with it. But guess what? Next time, you will not get away with it because all my big tools, they're tagged. They're tagged. They're wired. I know where they are. And my trailer is tagged. My uh, trailer has cameras. I got eyes, baby. I'm like big brother. So drop in comments. Let me know what you think. Subscribe. Hit the like button. You already know what to do. And uh, show me some love. Add me on Instagram. See the job sites we're doing. The next, the job that we finished there is sick looking, pretty nuts. I will post a video about it next week. And remember, Go King is coming in this week. You're, you're seeing this on Friday. I'm giving away this truck tomorrow. Isn't that crazy? This truck is going to be someone's tomorrow. It's already midnight on Thursday. I'm still doing this. I got to go to sleep.
Peace.